You win the duck? Hello from Vientiane again. We're here outside the big sea. Big sea. That means something very different in England. I don't know everywhere else, but the big sea is uh, the main shop here that we like to come in and eat our food. Yeah. It's cheap so and great, cheerful. Cheap and cheerful. So I got like this cheese toasty thing. Kasha had a yogurt. They and do loads of coffee. toasties like pizza pockets and all sorts of stuff in there. They just warm up for you. So uh, we're going to have a little walk around the city today. Yeah, we, today the plan is to hit a lot of temples, maybe some statues and see what the city is really about. Laos is an uh, extremely Buddhist country. It's um, I think 60, about 68% uh, people here are Buddhist. So there's going to be a lot of Buddhist temples, all these things around. But there's some really cool buildings here we've already seen, so we're going to show you these yeah. today. Yeah. And all sorts of other bits and bobs. Yeah. So I'm going to eat this. I'm it's curious scorching about... hot. They gave it to me, it was piping hot. They just bought it from the sun or something. Is there cheese in there? Um. Five out of ten. <laughs> what we're going to do, we will finish our breakfast and then take you to our first temple. Oh wow, look at this, this is lovely, like they're selling stuff here. We've got our first monk. So this is Wat Ong Tao Mahawihan, which means Temple of the Heavy Buddha. Look at the money. So it's definitely quite cool, like we can see quite a few monks. Oh, and people are praying inside. That's the biggest Buddha in Vientiane or Vientiane? Vientiane. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely an experience, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We don't really know what's going on and it's just beautiful. Like the Cash is going to go. Buddhist monk. Yeah, Joan, you know. So we don't really know anything about Buddhism, uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to actually learning in Lao. And so that's my bracelet. So cool. And I, I'm pretty sure he was praying and decided to go. How do you feel? I feel like a new man. All his sins are gone. <laughs> yes. That was a really cool experience. Uh, did he pray for you? Yeah, he was saying stuff for Yeah, him. so I think, yeah, let's hope that was he cool. prayed for a good journey. Hopefully. You've got a lot of those sort of... Uh, like piggy banks sort of things. And everyone's going around, they've got plate of coins or something, they're putting them in every one. I can't figure it out really. How cool. So do you buy a plate of coins and then go to every single one? I think so. It's some, surely it's some sort of prayer and thing. We're not really sure because a shame, such a shame that their letters are different because we could have like read things. Yeah. Plates. Oh well. Wow. Look how beautiful. Should we have a look? So uh, Dan is thinking to go in on top of here. I'm not sure. Dan, stop. <laughs> They can only throw him out of the country. There's like a, a tent made up there, the guy laying there, so I didn't go up. <laughs> and then interrupted someone's nap. 
<laughs> so I think that's it for this temple. So it's uh, sh short and question. sweet, but it's going to be a these. lot of them. That was cool getting those crazy. Yeah, we're month. so happy about this. It was cool. That's our first to like uh, seeing monk experience yeah. in their dressing outfits, and we want to learn a little bit more about this. Yeah, so cool. So let's go to the next let's location. Go. We were just walking to our next destination and we came up to this place which is not on our list but look how cool! How amazing that is! And literally you can walk around Vientiane for a couple of minutes you'll run into places like this. They're all over the place. Yeah. So they are everywhere. But anyway, let's go to our actual next location. So we come to the Fan Gum statue, born in 1316, died in 1374. It's the founder and first king of the Lao Kingdom of Lang Zhang, who created the first unified state of the Lao people. So it's quite important. Not a lot like around the statue, but we came here just because of the importance of the statue. And it's a good history to it. So. So in England you uh, have like fairground games like this, but you never use real animals. You win the duck? I thought you won the teddy behind. What, what on earth? What? Never seen anything quite like that. Would you say weirdest fairground game I've ever seen in my life? Definitely. Strange. <laughs> so we're outside Chow Anu Vong statue. Uh, it might be hard to hear me because of like a carnival going on. It looks quite cool. Uh, so the Chow Anu Vong statue was actually built in 2010 so this is a new statue but it's been made for an 450 years anniversary of founding of the Vientiane city so Chao Anuvong was a king of Vientiane from 1805 to 1828 uh, at this time there was uh, three separate kingdoms in uh, Laos uh, kingdom of Champsag, Vientiane and Luang Prabang they were all controlled by Siam as you can see around the bottom of the base it's decorated with loads of horses, elephants. Oh, just horses and elephants and plants. It's outside of Presidential Palace. It was built in 1560, but it's not where the president actually lives at the moment. Definitely, we could tell you that you, he, this building could do with a little bit of work. It could do with a bit of uh, upkeep, to be honest. I mean, it, the architecture and everything it does look cool, nice, but yeah, it does look like it gets, it's getting a bit run down. Yeah. So you, we can't really see too much of really. it. It's fine. But that was just, uh, we're walking fix. past it as we're walking to our next place. So it's cool. Yeah. A little bit run down, but yeah, an impressive and building nonetheless. Question for 10 points. Who is the president of Laos? Write down, down a uh, comment down below. Comment down below if you know, and mm. we'll give you 10 points. Yeah. So we were just walking and we noticed that we were on the wrong side of the palace. So have a look at this. This looks quite cool, a bit more impressive, but a lot of um, uh, cars. Yeah, much nicer from the front. So now I understand why the back is a little bit run down because uh, usually not a lot of people uh, care about the back. But at the moment we got, Right next to the palace, there is the, um, all the surviving what in um, 
Vientiane, we will tell you a little bit more about this in a second. Okay, so we've made it to Sisaket. What? Okay, let's go in. Here it is. This is the only temple in Laos that survived the Siamese occupation, which destroyed much of the capital in 1828. It has over 10,000 Buddha sculptures of varying sizes and styles. Most of these statues were sculpted between the 16th and the 18th century. You can also find wooden serpent shaped trowel that is used during the Lao New Year. The temple also has beautiful architecture and layout with a history that dates back to 1818. So as you can see it's got an ornate five-tiered roof, there's a drum tower and the floral ceiling of the Sim, which is the ordination hall. The hall holds 7,000 images made from wood, stone and bronze. And this has got to be one of the oldest parts here. We don't actually know how old it is, unfortunately. The serpent trowel is used for water blessings. It's used during important religious ceremonies and the Lao New Year. Worshippers pour perfumed water through the Hang Hod, which flows onto the heads of monks or Buddha statues. So we are leaving this place now and moving on to our next point on the map. So this is Ho Lak Mwang here. After Vientiane was destroyed in 1828, the original city pillar shrine was lost and recently an archaeological discovery found fragments of the original site dating back to the 4th or 5th centuries. So a new city pillar shrine, or Ho Lak Mwang, was constructed on this site in 2012. Inside is believed to house guardian protectors of the city and is worshipped by locals asking for good fortune and health. babies so we just bought those little birds just to let them go because it's just they only ten, 50 pence each oh and um, it's just so sad watching them being in that building uh, being How much in we go? That cage we can now find some nice greeny place there in the temple yeah maybe in the temple so you get a bit of a dilemma from this on the one hand you want to pay for them to let them free on the other hand the more people pay for them the more i don't know the more business they get the more they're going to want to do it oh this is not easy yeah just oh oh, oh wait ready ah oh, <laughs> so here we are at Wat Sim Wang Temple. It's a Khmer temple with a fascinating legend that still holds great significance amongst the Laotian community. The gold structure was built in 1563 during the reign of King Sesathirat. The temple's name comes from a young woman, Si Muang, who sacrificed herself over 400 years ago to appease angry spirits. She threw herself into a hole in the ground where the building's central pillar was to be placed and was crushed when the massive pillar was lowered into position. As this central pillar also formed the center of the town, Wat Si Muang is also called the Mother Temple of Vientiane. There is a small statue of Si, of si Muang behind the building along with a heap of bricks that are set to date back to her time. So Wat Si Muang serves the local Buddhist community and has uh, several stalls at the entrance selling bananas, coconuts, flowers, incense and candles for offerings. 
During the Luang festival which, take, which takes place in October or November, a temple is one of the focal points of the celebrations. Wat Sim Wang attracts those looking to have their wishes granted. Locals believe that if you pray for something and it gets granted, you're required to return to the temple to make offerings. Your first opinions of it as well, how colourful this place is. So the blues, the reds, the greens, the golds, so colourful. And you can pick whatever shoes you want. Hello, hello. Sawadi. 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 This is an impressive place. I've never seen such a happy lion in my life. And a dragon. Smiling. So happy. Oh, cool. So cool. So this is it for today. Uh, we've done miles. We walked miles and miles. Uh, it was fun, it was very interesting yeah. um, and we, I think we learned, we took a, a little bit of their culture in and uh, yeah, it was fascinating. Yeah, I definitely it was. recommend the city. Yeah, definitely recommend the city. Yeah, really cool city, loads of places to see, loads of things to do. So you can spend a few days here for sure. A lot of people say it's not worth coming and staying longer. I would say it is. We're not doing everything. There are a few more things which you could do. So don't cross this city off your list i really like it and people are so friendly yeah very friendly so uh thanks for watching this one and we will see you at the next one and don't forget to like and subscribe yes thank you very much bye, bye. bye.